Hey everyone, today we are going to continue our series on how to use Kronos Builder, which is the new age of map making for tabletop RPGs. And that's whether you are doing live sessions or whether you're doing virtual sessions. This thing is going to be a hit. Now, right now, Kronos Builder is in beta. So that means that only those who got in on the Kickstarter and paid for that tier or above are able to actually use the software at the moment and really try to get into the nuts and bolts of how this thing is going to work. Now, I don't believe that you can get into the beta right now, but you can still sign up for Kronos Builder over at their Steam page now, or it might even be over at their Kickstarter page. Who knows? I'm, I might be off of the top of the dome. I'm just doing stuff off the top of the dome here. It's probably more so at their Kickstarter page. Now, even though that we have the beta, we are only able to do limited things with it because it is beta and talked about that in the last part of this series, which is the basics. We're just going to get into the basics of what we can do with what we have as those who are the beta users of the software right now. Now, if I had to make a guesstimate of when the official release of Kronos Builder would be coming out, God willing, probably November, December, and that is a guess, because it might be even a little bit longer. So if you are expecting to get this, then you need to keep it locked in right here on this channel because I'm gonna give you the 411 as they release things and new features that we are able to use as the beta users, you are gonna be able to see it in action and then make an informed decision of whether or not this is going to be a tool that you can use. And so far, I don't think, why would you not? If you are like me and play mostly alternative genre RPGs, then this is the bee's knees. This is actually kind of a given as a GM. You should get in on this because this is different from its counterpart, Dungeon Alchemist, because it focuses on cyberpunk, sci-fi, modern kinds of maps, not fantasy maps. So if that's your deal, well, this is a no-brainer. You should get on up and go and sign up for Kronos Builder. And before you even get the software, you're going to know exactly how to use it because that is what is going to happen here on this channel. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So strap on for a little while here as we get into how to use Kronos Builder after this product highlight. And then I'll see you on the other side. Hey, everyone. Our product highlight today is the Master's Tome GM screen from Stratagem. You can organize your campaign with this fully agnostic, customizable GM screen. It's compatible with any tabletop role-playing game and is a GM essential. It will give you eight convenient pockets to use. It fits eight and a half by 11 paper, so you can go to any copy store, print your notes, your tables, your lore, your art, and you can just slide them right in. The notes and table is going to be for you as the GM and that will go on the inside while the other stuff like your art or your uh, lore or anything else, miscellaneous stuff, your players can see because it also has four more on the outside. Now, it automatically comes with these little art pieces here with the little gem looking thing right there that comes with it. But another thing that you can do with this GM screen is you can take notes directly on the vinyl if you need to. It has templates that it automatically comes with. You simply wipe it away, comes with a marker, comes with an eraser that's on that marker. The thing you got to be careful of is just make sure you don't leave that stuff on overnight or leave it on until the next session, God forbid, because it'll be a little hard getting that stuff off. So just make sure you just wipe it off when you don't need it anymore and preferably before your session ends. Now it stands 11 and a half inches tall. It's over three feet wide and then it folds down to just a half an inch thick. So it is very, very portable, very sturdy. Also, it's made of some really sturdy cardboard so you can travel with this thing just about anywhere. Got a couple things to keep in mind though if you're going to grab one of these. Now the first thing you got to keep in mind is that when you open and close this thing, it's made of a hard vinyl. So since it's made of a hard vinyl, you have to be careful about 
decreases here. Let me show you a little bit of what's happened with mine. In the middle, I don't know if you guys can see that in the middle right there, how it's, it's torn away, right? All right. That was because the brother was folding and closing that thing way too fast. Just put a, you know, closing up. Okay. So if you open and close it slowly, then this thing will last for a very long time. And even with my boo boo on it, right? I've had this thing since 2018 and it is still good to go. And technically, you can kind of repair that with your little home repair. You know how you do. You get some tape and you put it on there and you'll be good to go. So if you get some strong tape and you put it on there, since it's hard vinyl, man, this thing is going to last for a while. Now, the second thing you got to be careful of is when you put your inserts in right here. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, you see this lip of the plastic where your insert goes in between the vinyl and the uh, plastic. Don't pull that out too far. If you pull it out too far, these edges right here, they're just glued on. So what's gonna happen is if you pull it out too far, guess what? And it's going to break. So just make sure that you just get enough room in there for the insert and it slides in very easily. Now I haven't had any problems with that. All of mine are still connected and, and good to go on there. So this is a, this was a dream for me. And believe it or not, the price is still the same when I bought it. Like I said, I bought this one in 2018 and this is still good to go. Use it for my virtual tabletops. I just have it right next to me on my desk. It's all, you know, I just unfold it, have all my charts and tables right there. All I have to do is look to the side real quick and then look back to my screen. A lot faster than having all that information and trying to click on stuff inside your virtual tabletop. So what you have to do, if you are in the market for one of these, go ahead. I have a link in the description below my little affiliate link. Y'all click on that down below and you can go and grab yours over on Amazon right now. You'll thank me later. We're going to look at the two things now that we do have access to in beta and that are that is the structures. So structures is anything like your walls, your windows, your doors, your floors, your pillars. That is what structures is. So it's just making the actual foundation of your map. Now, I want to just this is a column and they have one that says pillar. OK, pillar right here, folks. I just and this is for the devs and never you spell that wrong. <laughs> it should be two L's. Uh, you might be spelling that. I don't know if that's how you spell it in Spanish, but in English for the English versions, it's, it's two L's, by the way. Just wanted to pull that up real quick for you guys. Just a, just a little itty bitty edit that you guys can do. Let's go to the folders here because the folders, these category folders can make your life rather simple especially as they begin to add more assets now chronos builder this this is the one that it's in right now which just shows all of the things for your structure but then you have cyberpunk and it's going to break it down now now you have those things to, just for a cyberpunk just for a medieval building that you want to make or a sci-fi building that you want to make so it has all these different folders that you can kind of whittle your way down for your structures but also you're going to be able to add a folder in the future. You can't do it now in the future. You can't do it now, but you'll be able to add it later. And then you have the other one that is available to us, which are props. You still have the same category folders over here. And so we can make a structure and we can put things in it so we can make maps and use those maps. And so the one thing that I'm going to do, last thing I'm going to do really, is we're going to create a map. But we're going to create a room real quick, and then we're going to look at the camera views of this room. So I want to go over here. I'm going to click on our auto creation tool. And down here you have all the various type of walls and windows and doors that you can make. And I'm going to close this out because that, that gets old really quick. All right, so we're going to choose our floors and I am going to choose. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to keep it on the Chronos Builder folder, so I'm going to use them all here. And I want to use these floors. 
these walls, uh, these windows, and uh, hmm, and these doors. Let's do that. Now, once you do that, you've chosen everything here. And what you have to do, you have to section off. You have to choose a section here for it to populate. And uh, let's start at the corner right here. And we're just going to do this. And let's say you mess up and you add something like this. And you're like, ah, I didn't want that. You can go ahead and clear it down here and you can redraw it. So I'm going to do that. Let me pull back a little bit here. Um, and I'm going to put like a hallway here. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I don't know why. I'm just drawing stuff here. And this is just kind of random. Just so you'll be able to see how this works. And again, this is called the center. So this is kind of a complex of rooms and buildings. And we're just going to do that for like that for right now. So let's see what happens when we click this star over here to auto create this. So how long will it take us to create this? Let's see. There it is. That's it. That's how long it takes us to create it. Literally seconds. Now this is at the hard 3D view. But let's kind of look at this with the different camera views. And let's go through these different camera views. So you have your isometric view here. And this is, you can pull back with the zoom. And this is kind of your equal dimension view. Um, this is not a view that I would suggest using, but if you want to use it, you can go ahead and use it if that's your bad. Uh, but that's not one that I use personally. Um, perspective of what we were in, I use this view all of the time, by the way. Um, just if you want to get down dirty with the details, you see how you see that? Oh, this is looking dope, y'all. This is looking real dope. I love it. I love it. Mm, this is dope. So that is going to be your perspective view. Then you have your tabletop view. So this is a straight up and down view, folks. This is what we're used to, right? You use your up and down arrows here. This is straight up and down. This is straight. If you're just going to lay this on your a tabletop that is live, so in-person tabletop, this is probably the view that you're going to export it in. It may even be the view that you want to make it in. But certain things like the right mouse button, holding it down to try to turn it, doesn't work in this view. You got your arrows that you can work with. Going side to side, left to right. And, uh, and going in is the scroll wheel, and that's it. You don't have a turn or anything like that if you wanted to turn it. You can still move the whole map with the mouse wheel and pressing and holding the mouse wheel button. But, you know, you can't turn per se because, you know, the view. You got your next view, which is, they say Sentinel. It's actually Zenith. Um, that's, Sentinel is a Spanish term for Zenith. So if you guys want to change it to Zenith for English, you can do that. However, we've got, uh, if you're pulling back here, this is a basically a cross between kind of a, it's a top down 3D view. Now this one I work in quite a bit, especially when I'm starting, when I'm gonna start putting props. I start putting props in just basically from this view. And then I will begin to use the perspective view to get some detail and, you know, switch things around and so forth. So that's just the basics here. I'm going to switch back to my view view, which is my perspective view. Love this, by the way. But that's the basics here. So just knowing how to automatically make these buildings and things. And this is the, going to be the beginning of the center. So since this, we're going to be using this one. Let's go ahead and open up this menu up here and let's save it because the next time that we do another Chronos Builder tutorial, we're going to expand on this map right here. So let's click on save and we are good to go. 
the basics, the things that you need absolutely in order to use the software. Kronos Builder, looking forward to it. I am in a blessed position to be one of the beta users. So, hey, I'm gonna be using this to make maps for pretty much all of the one shots that we'll be doing here on this channel. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something that you will get after watching just a little bit of it as far as the basics and how to use it? And as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all of the updates and all of the things that this software can do as it develops. When the new features come out, I'll try to make a video as soon as I possibly can. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm gonna get out of here. This is an extra video this week, as I said. I thought you, you guys thought that I wasn't gonna come out with it, right? Nah, if I say it, if it comes out of my mouth, I am going to do it because it came out of my mouth. It's kind of like that thing that we don't even give credence to anywhere anymore. Giving your word and then coming through with it. I'm pretty serious about that, which is why I don't make a whole lot of commitments because if I can't keep it, I'm not gonna do it. All right, so I'm out of here. I'm gonna work on some more videos, videos for next week. Pretty excited about trying to get this one shot for Gamma World together, working on the website, lots of things to do, folks. So until next time, I am going to... The Wexit, Station Peace, y'all. 5,000 leets, Audi.